And hello fellow Tech Space Bandit here with another episode of World of Tanks. And today I wasn't really gonna make a video on this, but I think it's worth mention. Especially since it might become a really big thing. And it's actually coming next week, apparently. So we'll see what happens with that. So World of Tanks introduces World of Tanks Valor. Now the question is, is it really rebranding or is it just an event? That's a big question because World of Tanks Mercenaries has been with us for the last few years. I can't remember exactly when that started. But to be perfectly honest, I am sick and tired of it. I think it's time to change. And if this is a rebranding, I will look at the game completely different. And I would probably assume a lot of players would get back into the game. Especially with all the things that Wargaming is promising in this update. So... Let's have a quick read here and see what they're promising us. World of Tanks Valor is our most rewarding seasonal event. So they're claiming it's an event, they're not claiming it's rebranding. But since they're changing the name, it is a little bit confusing to be honest. Get ready to earn up to four new exclusive tanks. Four new exclusive tanks. So in the video that they presented and uh, from different sources, I kind of gathered what these four new tanks will be. And we're probably looking at um, Kampfpanzer 50T, which would be German medium tank at tier 9. I don't know if tiers are going to change or not, but that's going to be one of the reward tanks. SU-130 PM, which is like um, tier 8 German Scorpion. It's already in the game and it's called Sashka, I believe. And you don't see a lot of these tanks on the battlefield. Another one is, uh, I believe this one was the tier 10 T-95 E6 which is i believe tier 10 american medium tank that has incredible rate of fire and the last one which is number four on the list that they're talking about is probably the tier 6 object 244 which is basically an is at tier 6 with small gun now but usually in events like this we have five tanks the fifth tank being the tank that is a reward tank for the entire seasonal event so the question is are we getting a fifth tank or are we not getting a fifth tank? Again, doing my research, scanning through different YouTube channels, reading some stuff. It seems to me that there will be a fifth tank. It's not really advertised yet. And Wargaming didn't give us a hint what this tank will be. But my hunch tells me, and this is just my opinion. I didn't get this from anywhere. I didn't get any information from anybody. This is just my hunch and what my thinking is. I'm thinking it will be T95 FV4201 Chieftain. And if that is the case, boys and girls, we're getting a freaking really nice treat. Just like we did with Object 279, this one is going to be a freaking monster if that's the case. Again, this is just me speculating. I'm not saying that this is going to happen. But one thing I'm most curious about out of this whole event and how things are going to turn up is whether the balancing that they're actually promising as a part of this big, huge update is actually going to take into account all the feedback that they got from the community, all the feedback that they got from content creators as far as what we would like to change in the game. I know some time ago, Clone Guy ran Operation Overhaul which I was kind of, you know, supporting. I was kind of part of it because I was sick and tired of what was happening in the game. And hopefully things will change for the better. And there's a lot of issues with the game right now. A lot of players left the game because of the issues that are in the game. And we do need players. And this is the right time to do it. And I think Wargaming is doing fantastic thing if they're bringing such exceptional tanks as part of this event. And the fact that during this corona crisis, we have probably a lot of people stuck at home playing video games right now. Excluding me though, boys and girls, I still work, so <laughs> it's hard for me to squeeze my videos in and play the game still. But a lot of you are probably at home having a lot of time on your hands. So I think this is an exceptional thing that Wargaming is doing, trying to bring all the players back. And I think if they actually manage to pull this off, and if they manage to make the changes in the game for the benefit of the players and from what community was actually asking for, I think they're gonna hit bullseye with this whole thing, with this whole seasonal event. I think it can be great. And if it's more than that, if we're talking about rebranding, I think that's even better because we're done with mercenaries. Take them away, boys and girls. We don't want those things no more. 
I don't want to be doing that stuff no more. I want to focus on the game. I want to grow the game. It would be nice if they grow the game, fix the issues that are in the game. And at some point in the future, consider even expanding this game independently of PC and hopefully going into more modern warfare type of situation. Don't you think that would be absolutely spectacular? Again, I don't know anything. I have no connections with anybody in Wargaming when it comes to this kind of stuff. It's just my thoughts running through my head and laying it out to you guys. Anyway, I am extremely excited about these changes if they are going to happen. Although I'm a little bit skeptical, you know, the cynical guy in me just looks at this whole situation and says, well, nothing has changed for so many years. Why is it going to happen now, Space? Well, I do not know, but I know one thing. The creators want this game to survive. The developers want this game to survive. I think something needs to be done and population base is still there to salvage whatever is salvageable out of this whole situation. So I think and I hope that Wargaming is doing the right thing, do the right thing, fix the game, bring more players back into this game and we will reward you. We will play your tanks. We will buy your premiums. Wink, wink. <laughs> and things will turn out for the best anyway guys enough of my blubber i hope you enjoyed the rest of this video until next time happy thanking space bandit checking out <laughs>